This is a pineapple carrot smoothie. It's more like a juice though. Um, for 30K, which is just over a dollar. And then you got a banana smoothie, which is pretty thin. How's it taste? Like banana. Huh? And that was just under a dollar at 20K. Yeah. And at this restaurant, they also gave two free bananas, and it says on the wall that you get a free water. This is what Charlie got. Fried noodle with tofu and vegetables, 40K, so just under $2. And I ordered the noodle soup with tofu and vegetables, which is a pho, and uh, it's about $1.50 at 35K dong. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here's my vegetable pho. It does look, in fact, Filled with vegetables, which is what I was craving. Are there noodles in yours? Oh, yeah. Does come with lots of bloom inside. Rice noodle. And there's some actual chilies and lime. No basket of veggie stuff, but that's okay. It's in there. But look at Charlie's. That smells so good. And she did bring over two bottles of water. Very hot. <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> More flattering. We picked these up at a roadside fruit stand. They're mandarin oranges and they're still on the vine. They're really beautiful. And they were 40,000 dong a kilo, which works out to $1.65 USD. We'll use those to snack on while we're here. And editing. Or daydreaming. <laughs> So this is a gas station in Vietnam. You pull your bike up and somebody will come and uh, pour some gas into your tank from those bottles. Interesting. <laughs> Vietnam has a deep history compounded with many layers. It is here in the heart of Nu Na Mountain that a certain place and time seemed to be well-preserved and frozen in medieval history. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. The first stones were laid here for construction in the year 1428 to build what is now known as Bic Dong Pagoda.
This was during the reign of Emperor Li Taito. Li Taito led Vietnam to independence from China during these times in the Middle Ages. I don't know what this is, but I know that first word is no. <laughs> Several hundred years later, around the year 1705, two devout Buddhist monks from a nearby province encountered each other and swore to each other brotherhood. In a mission to spread awareness of Buddhism, these two impassioned monks chose to commence their life's work right here in New Mac Mountain. And so began a series of reparations and additions to three tiers of pagodas in and around the serene spiritual mountain. This temple is inside the cave.
in Nunak Mountain, in a cave, still hangs the bronze bell that was hung by these very two monks in 1707. Bells in Buddhism signify the voice of the Buddha, which is awakening and can lead one down the very path to enlightenment. an up close of the flow stone inside the cave. Beautiful. There is much we have to learn about Buddhism, and we can tell you this place had a strange sense of peace to it. Exploring this mountainous temple was both serene and much like that of a sounding bell. Its hum led us to all its hidden secrets. the ones that were fading in time. Like that distant echo of a chiming bell, carrying with it the ancient chantings of monks and brotherhood, just trying to make their voices heard, along with their teachings. for as long as time will get. We didn't see this one on the way up. It was hidden around the corner. So they have, uh, because you you can't wear shorts or sleeveless shirts, they have these uh, garments that you can put over your shorts, like these people are wearing here. Banana trees. I believe that's a gravestone. Oh, there's more of the uh, apple snail eggs right here. Apple snails are an invasive species that live in the water and they come out of the water to lay eggs like that. And they are that color because they are poisonous to animals. It's a beautiful area. It's 
So we tried to film a lot without people. And as you can see, there is a lot of people here. Wow. wow. That is cool. Is that just a plant growing on the tree? It might be it? a vine, yeah. That is so cool looking. That is awesome. <laughs> While we were here, we noticed there was people walking up this, this other trail. And the other trail is actually not in. So there's the parking lot over there. There's the bridge where everybody walks to go into the, the Buddhist temples. But if you walk, this is really hard because it's backwards on my phone. If you walk under this little bike holder area and along here and then down this way, you can get alongside of the Buddhist temple, assumingly for free. And uh, there's, it looks like there's a trail to a lookout up here alongside. Let's get it. And then, I don't know if it loops around, but it looks like there's another trail this way. And some cool little limestone caves along the way. But we're gonna huff and puff up these stairs over here and uh, see you guys at the top. Like I said, huff and puff. Just came up a bunch of stairs next to the pagoda area. And uh, this sign says, the entrance to the cave of heaven. Now I have no clue what's up this way, but we'll find out. These stairs are very uneven and some of them are knee height. <laughs> We got this, guys. We got this. Oh, looks like we're going back down. This is beautiful. Going down. So we've entered this valley covered in goat poop. Oh, this is a couple kids right there. <laughs> hey, kids. What are you guys doing? Sin chow. Look at all their little footprints in the garden. Sin chow. It's beautiful. Yelling is very beautiful. <laughs> it says, uh, yelling is very beautiful. Okay, so the guy behind us there, he said something like money, pay to go in the cave. Um, but we're just walking. We asked a couple other tourists to walk by. Look how muggy it is, I'm all fogged up. Uh, if uh, they paid and they said no. But just walking through this little valley here is beautiful. Check this out. Oh, I see. So there's a cave over here that you pay to go in.
look at these massive rocks. Okay, so they do offer a boat ride. Uh, not sure how much the boat ride is, but there is a, a cave over there and she said 50 each, or 50 for the both of us. So a dollar each to enter the cave, which is not a bad deal. We would wanna share it with you guys if we were gonna do it and there's no light in the cave. So we couldn't share it with you guys. So, since you guys have to miss out, we're going to miss out as well. Um, got our exercise in with a little hike over the mountain here. Um, but uh, just the valley in here that these people live in is amazing. It's like completely surrounded by, uh, by mountains. And uh, that's, their, that's their home. And... Um, it's just gorgeous. So, if you guys make it to Vietnam, and you guys come here, send us a link to your video of this little cave to heaven. Um, because we're curious. Okay, that's the uh, way we just came from, from the, the cave to heaven um, that we didn't go into. And there's another road going this way, next to this large field, probably Bug Central. And, come na, come do, rock, come do, zak, zat, to. I don't know. Garbage. Oh. This might be somebody's home. We'll find out. Let's... Let's investigate. This might be bathrooms. This might be very old bathrooms. All right, what do you guys see? Nothing yet. This looks like it would be bathrooms. Oh, wow. Talk about a bathroom with a view. It is. And it's really easy to look past the garbage piles and see the beauty here. Looks like there's something in the... Oh, it's just more rock. Um, so if these were old Eastern bathrooms, they would have like a little floor toilet in them. Unless they're super old and uh, watching for snakes. Plus they're super old and they just went on the floor. I don't know. But now you know what's this way. And now we know it this way. Whoa. That road just broke on me. <laughs> We're probably above water here, considering there's water on that side and marsh on this side. And there's little fish or tadpoles in here. And these purple plants are just beautiful. I don't know what they are, but they're just growing everywhere out of the cliffs. 
I should look them up. So my app, the, little, the Seek app that I use for identifying plants and animals and bugs and stuff, identifies these as Moses in the Cradle. And apparently they bloom with white flowers. But they're everywhere along the, uh, the hills here. And they're just beautiful little, little blotches of purple all throughout here. Just adding color to this already colorful place. Vietnam is beautiful. Okay, so here's the ticketing office and it's not really clear because it shows a boat in a cave and that, I don't know what the last word is, but uh, the first two is cross water. So I don't know if it's cross water money, money to cross the water or what, but we're just standing here for a little bit. And the, there is people paying, but they're paying for parking. I don't know what that was about, but <laughs> uh, most of the people are just paying for parking. So, not seeing people paying to actually go in. And we walked here all the way from Tamcock, so. So, uh, yeah, that was our that was our payment walking. <laughs> And now we got to walk back. <laughs> Actually, we don't have to walk back. We could probably pay one of these things to take us back to Tamcock, but we don't want to. Let's find out how much they are. So it's either two or four dollars for us to get a ride back on there. Uh, they, they asked if we had a ticket and we said no. And then I said, how much? And he's, they said 50. Uh, I'm not sure if that's per person, which 50 is two dollars. Um, We've already walked five miles today. Yeah, we've already done five miles. What's another five? <laughs> yeah. 11,000 steps. Yeah, we're definitely getting it in today. And it was supposed to be a rainy day today. So we're, at, we just stopped at the, um, basically the furthest food stand from the, uh, the, the temple and, or the pagodas. And uh, I just want to show you what the food prices are right next to a very touristy place. Uh, so you got coffee for 30K. 30K is like $1.25 ish. We ordered the uh, mango smoothie for 30K, so it'll be 60K for our smoothies, which is $2.25. I'll put the price there. And these are the other things. Beer is less than a dollar for uh, domestic. And for an import of Heineken, it's like just over a dollar. Uh, you can order just fruit. less than a dollar and you got uh, some banh mi's here we like the banh mi with the egg just over a dollar and then you got some fried noodles cooked noodles stir fried noodles with beef uh, 70 is just under three dollars you got french fries here for two bucks and then you got your fuzz uh, pho rao is uh, just a vegetable um, soup it's just over a dollar spring rolls two bucks
catch fried rices for just over two dollars and two dollars and just regular rice is under a dollar fried tofu tofu stuffed with meat that sounds interesting yeah. for two dollars <laughs> you usually don't see tofu stuffed yeah. with meat yeah mm -hmm. uh, and your vegetarian food Okay, thank you. Uh, come on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then these are our smoothies, our mango smoothies that we got. Okay, thank you. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. Um, so they give you the ice, which cools the drink down. The drink is actually not cold yet, but it will be. And the smoothies here aren't exactly like super thick, but they're still pretty good. I mean, for just over a dollar for a, a smoothie that she literally just grabbed the fruit off that table over there. Yeah, it's real fresh mango. Yeah. Um, back to the menu. Vegetarian food. Two dollars and under per meal. Um, more sandwiches. This, I'm not sure how uh, pate is a vegetarian food, <laughs> but okay. Spring roll bread. That's interesting. But again, these are under a dollar for a sandwich. And then you got. Ice cream for under a dollar. Coffee for, oh, it looks like they've changed it to 30K from 20. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, one thing I want to talk about, the ice. So we might want to drink this fast. Um, you want to, What you want to look for for ice if you're just visiting and you aren't used to the water is you want to get the ice with the holes in the center is a telltale sign that it's filtered water. This looks like homemade ice, so I'm not sure, but, you know, drink it fast before it all melts. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got some juices for 30K. Uh, you can buy a bottle, small bottle of water or a large bottle of water for 50 cents. Uh, you got some other beers here for a dollar. This one's just over a dollar because she changed it to 30. I think it's technically 30. Um, soft drinks for 50 cents. Soft drink for 50 cents at a restaurant. Yeah, crazy. And it's a name brand that I've seen. It's all been like Coca-Cola, Panta. Yeah, and it's, it is. It's Coca-Cola... Uh, Diet Coke, or actually they call it Coca-Cola Light here. Um, you got all sorts of teas and other things. Oh, these are the cigarette packs here. And uh, cigarettes here are only like a dollar something a pack. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. This is uh, the restaurant. And they also sell souvenirs here and chips. And uh, they even have fresh coconuts. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye now. Bye now. Meh. 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 Sin chao.